and utilize the input in the production function. I wanted to give you an example on the week 8 discussion post. Let's just say that we were producing cherries and it is now harvest time. It's time for us to go ahead and harvest them and I have several acres that I need to get harvested. And I'm going to use the factor of production called labor. I have to hire some people. And so I'm going to hire one person to work for me during the day. And let's just say he works all day long and produces 25 pounds of cherries. My marginal physical product is 25. My total physical product is 25. Now, the next day, I hire two people. And two people working together, they're working pretty hard. And two people together create a marginal physical product of 50. And my TPP is now 75. When we move into day number three, these three people working together, there's some sort of synergistic energy, some competition going on, and together they did 100 pounds of cherries. And so now my total physical product is 175. The next day, four people come in, and the four of them are able to do 125. And so now my TPP is 300. So I'm continuing to add to my factors of production. I have one acre to harvest. I have five people doing it. And these five people, now, they're kind of having a harder time getting through the trees. The ladders are getting in the way. They're just not quite as productive. But still, 125 pounds in my made-up cherry land. So I have 425 pounds total harvested. The next day, six people come in. And now for six people, it's really even more challenging for the people that get to the trees. They're in each other's way. They aren't having some, the teamwork's not quite as good, whatever's happening. But the marginal physical product, I've decided, is going down. So 525 is the total physical product. And I'm going to keep on going, bringing in people. When I have seven people, boy, it's really not looking that great. We're only doing an acre at a time, so now I have eight people on one acre, and they're just not as productive. They're fighting over trees. Who's going to get this tree? Who's going to get that tree? All eight people produce 25 pounds of cherries. But my TPP still went up. The next day, nine people come in, and it's even worse. We almost have fist fights going on. Maybe. The next time I have brought 10 laborers in, 10 people to come on in and take care of harvesting the cherries. And as you can expect, it's not going very well. I have brought in so many resources that the more people I bring in, I may have too many laborers. In fact, my 10 people produce absolutely nothing the entire day. The next day, hey, let's try it again. And now, they're in each other's way. They're dropping cherries on the ground. They're stomping on the cherries. It's, I am now losing production. So my marginal physical product, we were down 20 pounds that we could have harvested. And I am now at 590. So the example that I'm asking you to do is just go ahead and think through whatever was the commodity that you had decided to produce and think through a fictional encounter using a factor of production. You can use labor, you can use fertilizer, feed, water. There's lots of ideas that you can bring to bear and begin to create a scenario that as you add in, in most cases, as you add in more and more and more and more people and you keep on doing that, it's like eating more and more cookies. Eventually, the satisfaction goes down with our cookies. If I came through and I created a quick bar graph, we could see here that the total physical product goes up over time until the very, very end, and it began to go down. And the marginal physical product went up, and then it began to go down as well. As we add more and more people, 
our product went down. And that is a demonstration of the law of diminishing marginal returns. The law of diminishing marginal returns suggests that as you bring in a variable input, like labor, the more you use it, the more you use it, and you add more and more and more, eventually, over time, it becomes less productive. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and ask the professor a discussion post.